Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will show you guys how to completely make your own custom PS Vita themes. So I was going to make a video on this a while ago, but I didn't realize how long it would actually take to make the icons, background wallpaper and everything. So I found an easier method. You can basically take a custom theme that already exists and just completely modify it to make it your own. So if you guys want to get this working, you will need a Vita shell. So go ahead and open that. But what you want to do is make sure FTP server is enabled. So just just press start make sure it's set to FTP on the select button then just press on select and when this comes up you will need to enter this on your PC a bit later but for now we just need to go onto the computer because we need to download the theme and then start customizing it so I will leave all the links in the description to the websites I will use. The first website is just the custom themes itself. So you need to scroll through and find a custom theme that you like the look of. Basically what we're gonna do is select one of these themes and then completely modify it. So maybe find one that you like the icons for. Now before you choose a theme, I would recommend choosing one that says 100% validated. This just means that kind of like all the icons and everything like that works. Obviously we will completely customize it, but you can pretty much just choose any one you want. I'm going to go for Dark Souls right here just because I like the icons. So I'm just going to click on the image and then just click on the download button right here. Now just give it literally 5 seconds and it will download your theme for you. So once that has downloaded, you want to go to the second link in the description. This is the theme installer. What we can Use to import the custom themes onto our PS Vita. So this is on Dropbox. We want to select download at the top here and just click on direct download. This is just going to download the zip file to your PC's downloads folder. So let's now just head over to our downloads folder and find the two files in here, the theme and the theme installer. First of all, select your theme, right click and select extract to and make sure you choose a file folder. So once it is in there, you can double click on it and you can see all of the images in here. So what we can actually do is completely customize these images to get this theme to work. So I would recommend using something like Photoshop, Paint.net or Paint. I will be using Paint.net because it is completely free. And I've actually got two images I wish to use open in a PowerPoint already. So this is what I want for my background image. I took both of these pictures myself. And then this is what I want for my lock screen image. So what I'm going to do, go back into the file folder. This, These are all of the background images these ones right here so I'm going to open this with paint.net then I'm going to go into my PowerPoint again or whatever your picture is right click copy and I'm just going to overlap it by pressing Control V and then just press enter now this picture is overlapped so if I just go and save it just how it normally is and then go back you can see that this is my new icon so I'm just going to do that for all of these really quickly because I want this as the background now you can have multiple gap background images and they're all labeled like one two three and four etc so let's just go and do that right now now for these ones here these are actually smaller pictures so what I'm going to do is just make the other version smaller and I can just paste it over the top just like that I can always resize it and um, get it to the exact size I want just like that and now I can just save it. So I'm just going to paste that on top of these two as well and then I'll be back once I've done that. So once they are all done we also have icons to edit if you wish to edit these it's entirely up to you. We've also got the lock screen wallpaper and the notice. I want to edit the lock screen wallpaper so I'm going to open this with paint.net and I'm going to copy in my new lock screen wallpaper. So let's just paste this over the top, enter and then just save it. So that is probably all I want to do for the theme. I actually kind of like it like this. So I think I'm going to keep it. I'm not too bothered about customizing the whole thing. So once our FTP server is running on our PS Vita, we want to right click this file and just select Extract To. It's going to put it in a file folder for us. So double click on it and we want to double click on the .exe version. Then just click on Yes and it should just open like normal. So we will need to type the host and the port which is 1337, you can find these on your PS Vita and then just click on connect. So once um, it's connected you might have to wait a couple of seconds but what you want to do is just click on load a custom theme folder and then you, what you need to do is browse for the folder in your downloads folder. 
Okay, so once we've found it, we want to just click on open. This is just going to open the theme like this. And what we want to do is just click on install the custom theme. Then just click on yes. Make sure you do not disconnect it, otherwise it just probably won't work. But just give it a couple of seconds and it's going to actually copy across our custom theme. So it will tell us once it's done. Um, so as you can see, it's copying across all of the icons right now. Um, so let's just wait. And there it says, congratulations, your custom theme should now be installed. Okay, so once that is done, we can actually just click on the cross. And we can now go onto our PS Vita and let's see if our custom theme works. Okay guys, so once this is done, we don't need it anymore. You can press circle for cancel. Let's close out a Vita shell and let's apply our custom theme and see what it looks like. So let's open up the system settings, scroll down to theme and background, and then we should be able to find it in here. So the one I just made was the Dark Souls theme um, custom version. So let's just select this. Now we can back out. You might have to restart to get the theme working but sometimes it should just apply. So there you go, got my custom background, got all the icons it comes with, and it seems to be working out fine. Let's test out the um, lock screen wallpaper as well. Okay, so this one doesn't seem to be on yet, so I think we might have to give this a restart, and let's see if it appears after that. Okay, so there you go, not as good as I thought, but it's still on there. So that is pretty much it for this video. That is how you make your own custom themes and get them working. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.